You're a very good actress. Best yet, in fact, but I've had enough. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 historically accurate details in Disney movies. We know the way. We were voyagers. For this list, we'll be looking at times when the House of Mouse dusted off their history books and went a little further with their research to add authenticity to their movies. However, we'll only be considering animated films as live action could have a list of their own. We're also including films from the Fox acquisition. Come on, there's no uh, invisible map on the back of the Declaration of Independence. That's clever, really. A document of that importance would ensure the map's survival. Which historical detail did you find most surprising? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Disappearance of Small Town America Along Route 66 Cars Lightning McQueen finds himself lost in the derelict town Radiator Springs. Where am I? Where are you? Shoo! You're in Radiator Springs, the cutest little town in Carburetor County. Oh, great. It's far from what he's used to, but he soon discovers that it was once bustling and thriving. However, after the introduction of the interstate highway, drivers no longer needed to journey through these small towns, and eventually they became forgotten. What happened? The town got bypassed just to save 10 minutes of driving. Time goes by, time brings changes. Sadly, this was the reality for many places along Route 66, which stretches between Illinois and California. Once Route 66 was bypassed, businesses struggled, and historic parts of America became virtual ghost towns. Cars highlights the plight of modernity and those who get bulldozed in its wake. How great would it have been to see this place in its heyday? Oh, can't tell you how many times I've dreamed of that. But one of these days, we'll find a way to get it back on the map. Luckily, some small towns are making a return thanks to their unique and vital significance in American history. Number 9. The Tale of Anna Anderson – Anastasia Rumors that Tsar Nicholas II's daughter Anastasia survived her family's assassination in 1918 have welcomed speculation and invited imposters. Although the Tsar did not survive, one daughter may be still alive. Prussian woman Anna Anderson famously claimed to be Anastasia in the 1920s. Since she was roughly the right age, some were convinced. There were other family members and acquaintances, including an aunt and a princess, who got to know Anna and became convinced she was who she said she was. They saw the physical similarities she shared with the Romanovs and were drawn in by tiny details Anna knew about the imperial family. In the movie, what starts as a con turns out to be true. If I don't remember who I am, then who's to say I'm not a princess or a duchess or whatever she is, right? Mm -hmm. Go on. Yeah, and if I'm not Anastasia, the Empress will certainly know right away, and it's all just an honest mistake. However, in Anderson's case, a long lawsuit ruled that she wasn't the lost princess. According to a private investigation, she was actually Franziska Shonskowska, a factory employee with a record of mental illness. Felix Shonskowska to come forward and claim that Anna was his missing sister, Franziska. Despite being outed as a fraud, many continued to believe that Anna was Anastasia. Years later, when the Romanovs were finally unearthed, a DNA test proved that Anderson was indeed just another imposter. Number 8. The Incans' Impressive Aqueduct Systems – The Emperor's New Groove the Incas were exceptional architects and excelled in urban design. That's just what I wanted to hear. Are you aware of just how important your village is to the Empire? Well, I know we grow the crops that you use here at the palace. They built their incredible cities in unlikely places in ways that serve their considerable population's needs. This included impressive waterways formed by aqueducts that you can still visit today. Stranger theories are that actually that they were constructed this way and with the flow of the water, they were able to make the water move uphill. The mountainous Andes were often short on fresh water supplies, and rain was a rarity. Don't you say a word. Quick, drain the canals! The Incas figured out that if they redirected water from the rivers, they could have a steady flow that helped their agriculture flourish. One of the most famous examples resides in the historical Machu Picchu site. 
You can also see these elaborate canals in the Disney animation, although we can't imagine that Cusco was the mastermind behind them. Excuse me, two seconds here. Um, I'm the one in the car, remember? This story's about me, not him. Okay, you got it? All right, we're gonna move ahead. Sorry to slow you down. Number seven, the Kalanish Stones, Brave. Brave's creators took extra care to bring authenticity to this epic Scottish tale, and their efforts did not go unnoticed. Some see our destiny is tied to the land, as much a part of us as we are of it. For instance, the outfits seen in the film characterize typical 10th century Scottish fashion. Additionally, historian Laura Barnett noted that Scotland's medieval past is filled with strong women and that Brave featured several recognizable locations. I am Merida, firstborn descendant of Clan Dunbrock and I'll be shooting for my own hand. Indeed, the filmmakers took a research trip to the region, visiting numerous landmarks, including the ancient Callanish Stones on the Isle of Lewis. This mysterious rock formation dates back to the Neolithic age, predating Stonehenge. It inspired the ring of rocks that Merida comes across while chasing after the wisps. This level of accuracy rocks. Number six, The Battles, Mulan. Mulan was the perfect heroine to see out Disney's Renaissance era. Unfortunately, it's debatable if she ever actually existed. Why is my reflection someone I don't know? Instead, the movie's premise takes inspiration from ancient Chinese folklore. I am ready to serve the Emperor. Father, you can't go! Mulan. Please, sir, my father has already fought for Silence! The narrative of The Ballad of Mulan also follows a young woman who takes her father's place to join the army. The events occur in the 5th century AD, during an actual conflict fought between the Northern Wei Dynasty and the Mongolic state of Roran. You took away my victory! No! I did. The soldier from the mountains. Mulan might be fictional, but the context of her story is based on fact. Sadly, there's no record of a sassy talking dragon. What? What do you mean you're not lucky? You lied to me? And what are you, a sheep? But luckily, there's also no evidence proving Sean Yu was real. That guy was terrifying. Number five, the cathedral's architecture, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. We're almost certain this iconic cathedral never housed a hunchback or gargoyles that come to life. We're just part of the architecture, right, Victor? Yet, if you chip us, will we not flake? If you moisten us, do we not grow moss? Indeed, if you know your European history, you'll know that this tale is steeped in inaccuracies. However, the animated replica of Quasimodo's home is pretty spot on. Notre Dame is an incredible structure, and you could get lost for hours inspecting every gothic detail and beautiful stained glass window. It's an architectural masterpiece, from the gargoyles overlooking the city to the soaring arches. It helped change architecture forever. The animators visited the famous Parisian landmark to study the building and all its architectural intricacies. They also pored over Victor Hugo's sketches of Paris to help them understand the city through his eyes. It's the city. What are you talking about? It's a map. See, here's the cathedral and the river and, and, and this little I've stone. I've never seen a be... map that looks Look, like... I've lived up in the bell tower for 20 years. years. The titular cathedral is as much a part of the story as any other character and deserves no less attention. Number 4, The Masquerade Scene, The Princess and the Frog. This movie marked a long-awaited shift in representation, but largely failed to create an authentic snapshot of early 20th century New Orleans. However, they did include a couple of nods to the era, most notably through the Southern jazz-influenced soundtrack. Also, a cleverly placed newspaper headline announcing Woodrow Wilson's election hints that the film begins in 1912. However, the most astounding detail can be spotted during the masquerade ball. Notice how other than the hosts, the only attendees to remain unmasked are black. Senator Johnson. Hey, Jimmy. I hope you're leaving some of them beignets for your constituents. Here you go, piping hot. <laughs> Apparently, this reflects a real local law that forbade black people from covering their faces. You know how long it took me to save that money? Exactly. 
Which is why a little woman of your background would have had her hands full trying to run a big business like that. Given that the movie vastly ignores racial injustice, this inclusion is rather surprising. Number 3. An Age-Old Polynesian Mystery – Moana History tells us that the Polynesians were keen travelers and great explorers, colonizing places like the islands of Tonga, Fiji, and Samoa. Their voyages began around 1500 BC, when the people who would settle Polynesia first set sail from Southeast Asia. However, their days of voyaging came to a sudden and unexpected halt that lasted roughly a thousand years in what's now known as the Long Pause. Even now, a thousand years later, Teka and the demons of the deep still hunt for the heart, hiding in a darkness that will continue to spread. No one knew why this happened, and it remains one of the world's most mystifying enigmas. Moana seeks to fill the gap with an unlikely yet enchanting story. We sail the length of the seas on the ocean breeze. At night we name every star. We know where we are. We know who we are. Her grandma tells her that it all began when Maui stole the heart of Tafiti and both stopped returning. When he stole from the Mother Island, darkness fell. Teka awoke. Monsters lurked and boats stopped coming back. Sure, the details indulge in creative license, but we bet not many people know that Moana's story is based on actual events. Number 2. The Land of the Dead – Coco In recent years, Disney and Pixar have sent teams on research trips to learn more about the locations behind their stories. When we started creating this film, Coco was meant to be a love letter to Mexico. Coco is the perfect example of how tremendous the payoff can be. The colorful terraced architecture of Guanajuato inspired production designer Harley Jessup for The Land of the Dead. The city of Guanajuato evokes this kind of layered history idea that we were going for with our towers. We ended up kind of cribbing that idea because we thought it, it was just so beautiful and striking. He added large towers featuring details depicting Mexico's layered history. You can see the influences of Aztec, Mayan, and colonial Spain at the base. Above that, you'll notice nods to the Victorian era and the Mexican Revolution. Da, okay. Hey, ta -da. There is a doorknob. So listen, Miguel. This place runs on memories. Finally, he ties it together with 20th century and modern designs at the top. It's un poco loco just how much detail goes into creating these magnificent landscapes. The liberties you're taking leaves my goodness is shaking. You are just un poco loco. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Eleanor of Aquitaine plays favorites, Robin Hood. Supposedly, this queen really did favor Richard the Lionheart over Prince John. Much to the sorrow of the queen, mother. Yeah, mother. Mother always did like Richard best. Depicting the correct British flag, Pocahontas. The flag only gained its second Red Cross when Ireland joined the UK in 1801. What do you suppose the new world will look like? Like all the others, I suppose. I've seen hundreds of new worlds, Thomas. What could possibly be different about this one? Shepherd's Journal, Atlantis the Lost Empire. Like Plato's dialogue Critias, some of the Shepherd's Journal is missing. The Shepherd seems to be leading up to something. He calls it the heart of Atlantis. It could be the power source the legends refer to, but, th but then it just it cuts off. It's almost like there's a missing page. Cutting Ice, Frozen, an accurate depiction of how ice was harvested. The Norse runes are also accurate. Oh, oh, watch the Sphinx's nose, Aladdin. Some Arab scholars state that the Sphinx lost its nose in an act of vandalism. Hold your breath, it gets better. I'm like a shooting star. I've come so far. I can't go back to where I used to be. Every turn a surprise. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Thousand Days War – Encanto Early in Encanto, we learn that Abuela Alma lost her beloved Pedro after they were forced to flee their home. We could not escape the dangers. 
and your abuelo was lost. Her story is rooted in a real-life conflict known as the Thousand Days War, which lasted from 1899 to 1902. Fought between liberals on one side and conservatives and nationalists on the other, this civil war was the deadliest conflict in the country's history and left many Colombians displaced. El tiempo sigue cambiando. Hay oruquitas. No se aguante más. Hay que crecer, aparte y volver. Its depiction in Encanto demonstrated how invested the creators were in showing both the beauty and pain of the nation's past. It also set the groundwork for explaining the generational trauma from which the country is still healing. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.